Hi, Brent Tech here, where tech is made simple. So yesterday, the 11th of July, was the second Tuesday of the month, which means it's Patch Tuesday. And Microsoft now is busy rolling out the Windows 10 and Windows 11 security updates for July 2023. And the updates, as many of you will know, are also referred to and called B-Release updates. Now, Patch Tuesday updates will be downloaded and installed automatically onto your device unless you decide to pause the update for a couple of days. And once uh, your device has been restarted after the update has been installed, you will find the update listed under Quality Updates, which for this month for Windows 10 is KB5028166. And it's rolling out for Windows 10 22H2 and Windows 10 21H2. But something to take note of is as I have posted previously, Windows 10 version 21H2 reached its end of service last month on the 13th of June. So Microsoft uh, has mentioned that they will continue to service the following editions of Windows 10 version 21H2. That's uh, Enterprise and Education, Windows 10 IoT Enterprise and Windows 10 Enterprise Multi-Session. So basically, uh, your consumer home editions of Windows 10 21H2 are no longer supported and will no longer receive monthly updates. But basically, your enterprise editions will continue to get the security updates. And as I've posted previously as well, all editions of Windows 10 version 22H2 will continue to receive security and optional releases. Now, with that all out of the way, um, as many of you will know, the Patch Tuesday updates address security issues uh, in Windows 10 and Windows 11. And for this month, for Windows 10, we have got numerous vulnerabilities that have been patched. There are 82 vulnerabilities that have been fixed. And out of those 82 uh, security flaws, there are six critical vulnerabilities, which is your highest ranked vulnerability. So this is an important security update rolling out. And the six critical vulnerabilities are all remote code execution vulnerabilities, which means a hacker or an attacker can gain access to your system over the internet or over a network to mention two examples. So 82 vulnerabilities have been patched with this update and six of those are critical. Now, this update will also include the improvements and fixes that rolled out with this update, KB5027293, which was the optional bug fix update that rolled out near the end of June last month. So if you didn't install this update, those improvements and fixes will be carried over into this update. And um, just to mention three um, minor improvements that did roll out uh, with KB5027293, which will be included now with this update. Uh, it improves several simplified Chinese fonts. It adds new features to Microsoft Defender for Endpoint, and it also brings authentication across Microsoft Clouds. And obviously, it was a bug fix, so that will also include numerous fixes. And I did post a whole video on KB5027293, which I'll leave down below if you would like to go check that out for more info. And over and above that, um, that's more or less what is new for this month. Um, there's no other new features or any major changes other than those three improvements that did roll out near the end of last month, now carried over into KB5028166. And once this update has been applied, if we just head over to Winver quickly, this is the About Windows menu and dialog. Um, Windows 10 version 22.8.2, the OS build has now been bumped up to 19045.3208. So thanks for watching and I will see you in the next one.